Well, later this week, you can tee it up in support of a little Effingham County boy who continues to recover after nearly drowning in a Guyton pond just days before Christmas back in 2020. You're looking at a warrior, a fighter, a miracle. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, um, God always said, you know, he ain't gonna bring you to a storm and leave you. And uh, so him and JJ's walking hand in hand and I'm telling you, he's got his gloves on and he's ready to go. December 2020, little JJ here nearly drowned in an Effingham County pond. An accident and nightmare for any parent, including JJ's dad, Jeremy Sessions. God gave me another chance to be his dad. I mean, you couldn't ask for nothing else. Baby JJ's road to recovery, a long one, and it continues today. The three-year-old boy suffering brain damage, but thanks to stem cell treatments, intensive laser therapy, and many other medical procedures and treatments, JJ, well, he's making progress. Just the other night, uh, he, he was in bed and he just started busted out laughing. Um, just to hear that alone. It's worth it. Many of the treatments helping in JJ's recovery not offered here at home. JJ and his father, Chris, crossed the country to see doctors and receive the care he needs. And with that comes a cost, a big one. This Friday, local golfers can do their part in raising some green by simply hitting the greens in support of little JJ. Lost Plantation Golf Club in Rinkin hosting the Breaking Chains for Baby JJ fundraiser. I know this right here is going to help him. You know, it is. I'm, it's, it's a celebration of life, that's for sure. The golf tournament will include tons of prizes and lunch. There's also going to be an auction with tons of amazing items and trips up for bid. Now the breaking chains for baby JJ golf tournament set for this Friday in Rinkin. Teams and sponsors are still being accepted. You can find out how to get involved by visiting our website, WJCL.com.